half of you is so sweet and southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the the backup was the complete opposite. Yeah. I was get out of my car and he was like, I don't, he's not right for you. And I was like, who, what? You can't tell me that. Kelly Stafford has gotten her husband into so much trouble. I mean, the NFL world is not leaving this woman alone. And to be honest, given what she decided to say on a podcast, I think she kind of has this coming to her. I mean, whenever you decide to say stupid sh for attention, then this is the result. So we have a lot to discuss. This is peak late June, early July content for you guys. Before we get to the content, you're running a giveaway for College Football 25 on both my Twitter account and my Instagram account. I'll leave a link to both of those giveaways in the description down below and in the pinned comment section down below. And now that we got all that out of the way, work. Check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Matthew Stafford is an individual that really doesn't need much of an introduction. He is one of the most revered and respected quarterbacks in the entire NFL. And when he's fully healthy, he's without a doubt one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Yet somehow, he's criminally underrated. This man threw a no-look pass to win his only Super Bowl. He won a Super Bowl for the LA Rams. And it's not just me that reveres him to this level. Other quarterbacks, especially younger quarterbacks, quarterbacks in the NFL have tremendous love and admiration for Matthew Stafford. I mean, look at what CJ Stroud had to say about a quarterback that he looked up to the most. Hey, Stafford, Stafford five. another one, he bro. Five. He, five. he might be up there with Brady and them, bro. No, come on. No, bro. that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> let me let me go back. Hey, because no, because look, I'm gonna <laughs> look, dog. I'm gonna give you a while. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a game. Yeah, yeah. Stick is both. He is it. No, you don't understand, bro. You saying that? JB, come back to me after this. I'm going to send it to head. Sam. I watch Mahomes Mike. at times because Mahomes does some stuff that, like, you can't coach. Stafford, dog, he will beat you with the same thing every time. All that no lick stuff, I got that from bruh. And from the very beginning, Matthew Stafford was supposed to be that next great quarterback. And honestly, if he didn't get drafted to the Detroit Lions, there's a chance that his career could have gone significantly differently. He was considered to be a can't miss prospect with a rocket arm coming out of Georgia. And that's why he was selected number one overall in the 2009 NFL draft by the Detroit Lions. Now, whether or not Matthew Stafford will make it to the Hall of Fame someday is a completely different conversation we need to have. And I think it really depends on how the next couple of years of his career goes. It's something that many people debate over consistently. I personally don't think his credentials in terms of accolades really scream that he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, he's a two-time Pro Bowler and a one-time Super Bowl champion. But if you look at his statistics individually, throughout his career, he's thrown for 357 touchdowns and 180 interceptions. And this past year, he finished top 10 in MVP voting, fourth place in comeback player of the year, and got his second Pro Bowl, which if you think about it, it's absolutely insane that it took him this long to get his second Pro Bowl. So Hall of Famer or not, there's no question about it. Matthew Stafford is one of the most respected individuals in all of the NFL. And I don't think anyone will ever dispute that. But there's been this trend recently where the wives of athletes would do whatever they possibly can to embarrass them. I mean, we've covered this in years past with Aisha Curry and Steph Curry. If you guys remember, she went on a talk show and a man appeared on the talk show and she did this. <laughs> And it's really frustrating because there's no question about it. Steph Curry is one of the greatest basketball players of all time. There's no debating that he is the greatest shooter of all time. And there's no question that he is one day going to be a Hall of Famer. But it seems like recently the women of these remarkable individuals, whether it's Aisha Curry and Steph Curry, or more famously Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith, which I think is a completely different tier, might I add. And I think the latest entry into this conversation is none other than Kelly Stafford. I don't think Kelly Stafford is is nearly as extreme as Jada Pinkett Smith. And I just wanted to give you guys that disclaimer. But lately, she's been doing some very questionable things. I mean, one year ago, she said something that she really shouldn't have said, saying that Matthew Stafford has an issue with the Rams' younger players, saying it's kind of crazy. Matthew's been in the league for a long time. He's like, the difference in the locker room has changed so significantly. And they have a lot of rookies on their team this year. They're very young. But he's like, I feel like I can't connect because in the old days, you come out of practice, you'd shower, 
before. People would be playing cards, people would be interacting. Who knows what they're doing, but they're at least doing something together. They're playing ping pong, they have a tournament going on, they're at least talking. He said now they get done with practice, get done with meetings during training camp, and they go straight to their phones, like no one looks up from their phones. She also mentions how they say sir to him, and he's like, no, we're on the same level here. We're both playing in this league, let me get to know you. But he said it's so different and it's so hard to get to know these guys. He had a book printed out of all the guys' faces and their names, and he's like, I need to know their names. Kelly also adds that she believes Stafford feels it most because he's old and like a leader on the team. But he's like, I don't know how to lead people I have no connection with. I have to somehow find a way to connect with them. And it's not like she's saying anything that's really egregiously bad here, but to go on your podcast and then start discussing some of your husband's issues with the Los Angeles Rams locker room, obviously is going to cause trouble, but I didn't think it was that significant to make a video on at the time. But this latest thing she's doing is absolutely insane. So check this out. Kelly Stafford recently went viral for going on a podcast. I don't know if it's her own podcast and saying a story that really just should have been kept to herself. I hated um, him. I loved him. I dated the backup to piss him off, which oh, worked. Oh, yes. He was like, that'll do it. He was the bad boy too. Like Matthew's so sweet and Southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the, the backup was the complete opposite. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and it it upset him. So they lived in the same dorm because athletes lived in the same dorm and he would see my car there. And so at one point he like waited and fought and followed me out and got in my car and wouldn't get out. Stop. And he was You're like, like, this is so hot. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> working. Yeah. I was get out of my car and he was like, I don't, he's not right for you. And I was like, who, you, what? you can't tell me that. Look, man, I understand that women like to do this and even men like to do this. People like getting each other jealous. It's a great tactic to get what you want. It's toxic as hell. It's really freaking toxic, but I'm not going to speak on your methodology to get into the relationship you got into because at the end of the day, human beings are different. If you felt the need to get your husband jealous in order to get a ring on your finger and it's working and you guys have been married for this long, then good for you. It's not my place to say that there's something wrong with that. My issue isn't the fact that she decided to do this because her deciding to do this is obviously going to cause a large portion of people to judge her. I mean, the girl literally saw the backup quarterback and decided to say this. Oh, you, you gotta give him that hook. And spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> My issue is more the fact that she felt like it was a good idea to go on a podcast and talk about this. This story should just be for you and maybe Matt, and that's about it. And that's if he has a good sense of humor about it. But to go on a podcast and disclose this information to a large audience to tell the world that you did this, I mean, what good did you think was going to come out of telling the entire world that you slept with a backup quarterback who nobody knows anything about just so you could end up marrying Matthew Stafford. The responses in the comment section are exactly what you expect. You gotta stay away from these types. Why say any of this? It's not a good look for anybody. It's literally only good for the podcast host because this will go viral probably. Why would you embarrass your husband and family publicly like this? Yup, Stafford is cooked and he helped her through cancer, SMH. But if you look at the quarterback room, I'd be very concerned if I'm Matthew Stafford. I mean, behind Matthew Stafford, his backup quarterback's Jimmy G for crying out loud. Out. And behind him is Stetson Bennett. I just feel like social media is melting everyone's brains. They have four daughters who easily have access to social media, whether it's now or in five years from now, this will easily pop up one day and they can see their mom talking about their dad in this manner. It's just crazy what people are doing these days for clout. And podcasters feel like they should share every bit of information about themselves to the world, even though there's some things that I believe is best left behind closed doors. Personally, I don't think Kelly Stafford's a bad person at all whatsoever, but she clearly has a loud mouth. I would definitely try to keep sensitive information away from her as a result of her latest slip ups. I mean, this is the second time in two years that she's done something like this and it does nothing but cause trouble for Matt. Now, I know what you guys might be thinking as a result of watching this video. Mike, this has absolutely nothing to do with the game of football. Well, the last major thing to happen in the NFL is Brandon Ayuk is literally embarrassed himself pandering for a new contract from the San Francisco 49ers. We covered this a few days ago and I'll leave a link to that in the end screen. I'll meet you guys over there and aside from that I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.